Hello knowledge enthusiasts, welcome to our channel. Have you ever pondered the destructive power of water, especially when it forms a tsunami? It's quite a spectacle to behold, as water, typically a life-giving element, morphs into a force of massive destruction. Now, let's delve deeper into the genesis of a tsunami. A tsunami isn't born out of the blue. It's usually the offspring of an underwater earthquake, a violent shaking of the Earth's crust deep beneath the ocean. When these tectonic plates move, they displace an enormous amount of water, instigating the creation of a tsunami. Imagine a colossal volume of water being suddenly moved. This displacement then gives birth to a series of waves, waves that are not ordinary by any means. These waves, fueled by the immense energy of the earthquake, can traverse thousands of miles across the ocean, carrying with them the potential for unparalleled devastation. So, it's the shift of tectonic plates beneath the ocean surface that sets the stage for a tsunami. But what exactly happens when these tectonic plates shift? Well, let's dive into the mechanics of a tsunami. Picture this, an earthquake or other seismic activity occurs beneath the ocean floor. This shift in the Earth's crust releases a massive amount of energy, which is transferred directly to the water above. This energy causes the water to ripple and create waves, like a stone thrown into a pond. Now, these aren't your average waves. They can travel at jet-like speeds in the open ocean, virtually unnoticeable due to their long wavelengths. However, as they approach the shore, the shallower waters slow them down. This causes the waves to increase in height, transforming into towering walls of water. It's this height and power when the tsunami hits the shore that causes such devastating destruction. Remember, a tsunami is not just one wave, but a series of waves, each potentially more destructive than the last. Knowing how tsunamis occur, can we prepare for them? It's a question that's been asked time and time again. The answer is a resounding yes. Preparation is key when it comes to tsunamis, and there are several measures that can be taken. Early warning systems play a crucial role in alerting communities about incoming tsunamis. These systems detect seismic activity underwater and provide valuable time for evacuation. But knowing a tsunami is coming isn't enough. Communities must also be prepared. This includes educating people on what to do and where to go during a tsunami. Then there's infrastructure. Coastal cities can design buildings and other structures to withstand the force of a tsunami. This might mean constructing buildings on stilts or creating protective barriers along the coast. While we can't prevent tsunamis, understanding their nature and preparing accordingly can help minimize their destructive impact. The power of water may be immense, but the power of knowledge and preparation is even greater. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Till then, goodbye and take care.